it's a failure compared to the commonly prescribed plan. If it is within this one, the FTR region, As for the formula, if you, you remember in your differential calculus, okay, so let me just write here the formula for the derivative of a um, logarithmic function. Okay, for example, you had to get the derivative of L and U. You know? So this is our function. It will yield a derivative of um, du over u, you know? so that will be the that will be the derivative of that function. No? If we were going to get the derivative of l and u, now if we are going to integrate both sides, no? both sides we are going to integrate indefinitely. So we are in um, indefinite integration. So we have here the this one will be integrated, this will be L and U because we know that the reverse of differentiation or the anti-differentiation is integration. So we have that one and this just will become the integral of DU over U. If we are going to interchange, so we could say that the integral of DU over U is equal to L and U plus C. Okay, because we are doing an indefinite integration. So, as you can see, if if we are going to integrate, no, integrate the derivative of du over u, so we will, we will basically be integrating, which our result will become a logarithmic function. So, there is a there is a what's so called um, a condition for this one, no, a condition. So just like with our power formula we have also some conditions that we need to follow no to follow okay so in this instance no our our function or our u no? we should write this one on green no our u must be greater than zero no the u must be greater than zero for this one to um or for example if our u is less than zero no the function itself is less than zero the, the value of the function is less than zero then we could use the formula ln negative u plus c oh, because we have, we have already utilized the c here we could have to do as c1 if, for example, the the u is equal to zero, then we could use the formula ln ln then the absolute value of u plus c two. So these are all equal to the integral of du over u. Only the conditions for the value of our function u. Okay? So now we will proceed to our first example for this um, topic. Okay? So we have here evaluate the integral of x dx over 1 minus x squared. Okay? So maybe we could have this one in green. No? Solution. Okay. So the very first thing to do is to determine what is our u. So our u is equal to 1 minus x squared. So because we are going to get the form du over u. And our du is equal to the derivative of our u which is negative 2x dx. So by inspection, we could say that our given function lacks negative 2, no? Because we have x dx, but we do have negative 2 here. So we could say now that our the integral of x dx 1 minus x squared is equal to, we put the reciprocal of the 
lacking function or the lacking um, constant. So that, that will be negative 1 half because the reciprocal of negative 2 is negative 1 half. Integral of, we put the negative 2 here, 2x dx over 1 minus x squared. So as you can see, this now, this function here, we just have this one on the arrow. So this one here is already in the form du over u. So what is the integral of du over u? So we could write now the answer for this one, negative 1 half because this is constant. ln, our u is this one, 1 minus x squared. Then we will have plus c. And this is now our answer. Okay? Okay, so let's have another example no? so that we could apply this um, integration, no? this integration technique no? to another problem. Okay, so we have here evaluate integral of x squared minus x over x plus 1 dx. Okay. So we have here our solution. Solution. Okay. So I, by inspection, we could see that our numerator here, the degree of our numerator is greater than the degree of our denominator. So if this happens, we could apply a apply algebra in order for us to have our um, denominator, the, the degree of our denominator great, uh, less, uh, greater than the degree of the numerator. So, as you can see, the degree of our denominator is the, uh, when, when we say degree, what is the highest exponent no, of the terms? No? For this one, this is 1, and for the numerator, 2. So, maybe we could apply um, long division for this one in order to get or in order to simplify our given integral, okay? So, we have here x squared minus x, no? Then you have x plus 1, okay? So, maybe we could, uh, we have x squared divided by x, that will be um, x, no? We could put our x here, then you have x squared, Maybe we could, uh, this, this will be put here, okay, x, okay. then this will be plus x, no? Then, this will be deducted, so this will be 0, okay? Now, this will be negative 2x, no? Negative 2x, because this will be negative, so negative x minus negative x that will be negative 2x the next we will have a minus no? minus so the negative 2x divided by the x that will be negative 2 so you have here negative 2x so this will be plus 0 no plus 0 because the next um, term for this one is 0 then we have negative this will be negative 2 times 1 it will be negative 2 so subtracting so we have this one this will be zero then we have uh, zero this will be minus negative two that will be two so our answer will be x minus two plus two over x plus one so the remainder you will just divide the remainder by the divisor or the numerator of the actual integral okay now we'll have our Solution or our integral, no? the integral x squared minus x over 1 minus x squared dx. So this will be equal to the integral of x minus 2 plus 2 over x plus 1 dx. Okay. So what will be the next thing to do here is to... Um, to segregate or to divide our integral, no? Okay. 
So, that is the distri distributive property of an integral. So, this will be integral x dx no? minus 2 dx. Then, we have plus integral of 2 over x plus 1 dx. Okay. So, maybe we will continue this one on the next slide. So, we just select our um, solution here. Okay, we cannot select this one. Okay, so we have, we have here the integral of x squared minus x over 1 minus x squared. Uh, it's just true or x plus 1. Okay, so I made a... Uh, this one is that one minus x squared. Okay, sorry for the that one. No? So we just this be x plus one. No? I was caught with the uh, previous um, example. No? Okay, so this will be x plus one. Dx is equal to the integral of x dx minus let's check here negative 2 dx no so we have integral of negative 2 dx plus integral of 2 over x plus 1 dx so let's check okay okay so for the first integral here that will just be power formula okay power formula that will be x squared over 2 no then the next one so the integral of a constant is just the function of the the function of the derivative that will be 2x then for the last so this will now be a logarithmic no? or, is, or this will be the form du over u because our x here or the degree of our numerator is equal to 1 no so that that, that will become du over u but if for instance, that will be du over u to the n. Then we will use the power formula. Okay, so for this one, let's say that our u is equal to x plus 1. So our du will be equal to dx. No? So we could say that this one will just be equal to 2. So the 2 will just be the constant. Dx over x plus 1. So this is now in the form du over u. Our du is dx, correct? Our u is x plus 1, correct? So we could now um, continue integrating. So minus negative 2x plus 2, okay. 2 ln x plus 1 plus c. Okay. And this is now our answer. Okay, so now we will have our last example no? for this topic. No? Okay, so we have here the evaluate the integral of 2 dy over 3y minus 4. Okay, so we have now this one. So we have here our solution. So our u will be equal to 3y minus 4. And our du will just be 3 dy. So we could rewrite our given integral as integral of 2 dy 3y minus 4 then we just have our 2 as a constant 2 times the reciprocal of the locking constant which is 1 third then we will have 3 dy over 3y minus 4 so this is now in the form um, du over u so we just write properly our integral here so we could now have 2 over 3 ln 3y minus 4 
plus C. And this will now be our answer. Okay? So, that will be all for this uh, topic. No? So, um, I hope you understand something this video. And I have also uh, more videos about this one. No? Solving um, various problems no? or, or various um, integration involving um, functions in which the integral will be and logarithmic functions, no? And natural logarithmic functions. Okay? So, I hope you understand something. And as always, enjoy learning.